Welcome to Swim Life Pro's video series on learning how to swim the complete butterfly. For beginner swimmers who are concerned with not being ready to start the butterfly, please check out our free video tutorial on the basics of buoyancy at www.swimlifepro.com. The butterfly is one of the four primary racing strokes used among competitive swimmers. This stroke requires a large amount of upper body and core strength to perform effectively. The butterfly is highly regarded as the least efficient stroke, making it impractical for use as a cardio workout. The butterfly can be divided into four major parts. The pull, the full body dolphin kick, the half body dolphin kick, and the breathing. These four parts encompass the entire stroke. The butterfly by nature is analytical. Performing this stroke out of its intended order will hinder your ability to swim this stroke correctly. While swimming the butterfly, you will be using a motion called the dolphin kick. This is a full body, symmetrical kick that is derived from the shoulders and requires both relaxed knees and ankles to perform effectively. The dolphin kick utilizes strength from your core and legs to create a shoulder to toe body roll to propel you through the water. Additionally, your overall body position will be constantly changing when performing this kick correctly. The dolphin kick can be divided into two different parts. The power phase, which creates the majority of the forward velocity of the kick, and the recovery phase, which resets your body and legs in preparation for the next kick. Prepare your body for the dolphin kick by placing one hand on top of the other in front of your head, arms as comfortably far forward as possible in a straight position. Keep your chin and eyes pointed down towards the bottom of the pool. Your head should rest comfortably just at the surface of the water with your ears submerged. Your legs should be straightened together with your knees and feet relaxed. For the duration of the dolphin kick, your knees and ankles should remain together while kicking in unison. During the power phase, notice how your whole body creates a large whip-like motion. When doing this kick properly, your body will work in a similar manner. The whip is slowest at the base, your shoulders, and fastest at the tip, your toes. Begin the power phase by using your core body strength to thrust your shoulders down towards the bottom of the pool. This downward thrust should travel through your body similar to the power of a whip, gaining strength as it rolls from your shoulders down through your toes. As your body rolls through the power phase, use your core to continue to drive your feet down towards the bottom of the pool. Remember to relax your legs, allowing for the density of the water to bend your legs slightly at your knees. As your thighs reach full downward extension, continue to drive your feet down towards the bottom of the pool to complete the power phase. Newton's third law of motion states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Every action that you have in the water affects your body in one way or another. If the power phase of your dolphin kick moves down your body towards your feet, your body will move forwards in the opposite direction of the kick. Additionally, if your hands pull water backwards for a stroke, your body will move forwards in the water. The butterfly does not have a stationary glide position at any point during the stroke. The dolphin kick is a continuously repeating rhythmic motion that does not stop until you stand up. Once you have driven your shoulders down towards the bottom of the pool, begin the recovery phase by slowly raising your shoulders back to the surface of the water in preparation for the next kick. As your shoulders raise, your torso and legs will slowly follow. Once your shoulders have reached the surface, immediately begin the next kick. There is no pause at the end of the recovery. If you find that you are not moving forwards while doing the dolphin kick, stop and try again, this time making sure to begin the kick at your shoulders. The most effective way to learn the butterfly properly is by starting off with the fundamentals of the stroke. Try practicing the dolphin kick only, emphasizing the roll of your body from your shoulders to your feet. If done properly, your head should move very little in comparison to the rest of your body. For learning the pull and the breathing cycle of the butterfly, please make sure to check out our second video of the butterfly series, as well as our other video tutorials on each of the six official strokes and treading water at www.swimlifepro.com.